Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back my another video. In this tutorial, we will see how can we install manual WordPress in our domain. So let's get started. First of all, you need to choose a hosting provider and a domain. And I chose the hosting from this hosting. And you can choose uh, your hosting from here, or you can choose a different hosting platform like Bluehost uh, and Hosting Guard and other host provider. And then choose a domain. As I already, uh, in this video, we will uh, learn a subdomain so let's start firstly log in your cpanel and create a domain or buy a domain from different domain provider here i will use as i say a subdomain this i already create a subdomain this is tutorial wordpress and i'm going to this home page and you see this is an empty directory and then go to the tools and create a mysql database go to mysql database and create a database for your wordpress site like I will create a database and this is the database name and I create this one and let's create a user for this database. Some hosting have different option but uh, the 90% of the hosting configuration is the same. This tutorial and at the password. Okay, create user. This password is not rich. Not this one. Okay, it's match. Yeah, it's match. Okay, let's go back. And add user to database as this is my user and this is my database. I want to add this. I will select all the privilege and make changes. My database is ready. So let's see how it's. This is my database and how it is. Its user is ready. Okay, let's <clears throat> go to the domain. We already created our database by this way. And then go to the domain. Here is the domain. And now here we can install the WordPress. Then how can we get the WordPress? Go to the wordpress.org and get WordPress. Download latest version of WordPress is 6.2.2. Okay, here is my my file is downloaded. Okay, let's go to the domain and upload this file. Drop the file. Just drop your files, WordPress files, which you 
currently installing and it's install complete then go back to home and you say this is our WordPress zip file let's unzip it extract here yes extract here step file and this is the all of the files here you can see let's close it then go to the wordpress and here's all of necessary files which you need to create this website and i will delete this wordpress zip file skip the trust and then select all the now you are in the folder of this domain you need to go to this domain and this folder and select all the files and then move it to the root directory i'm going to move in this file to my root directory it means main domain or subdomain let's move files all the files is moved now here is it is empty and this wordpress file is now empty here and then i will gonna delete this one skip this and confirm and this is the file all are set up here now if i go to this domain name you see this domain name and then if i enter this one you see it's a, a configuration wordpress dashboard is coming here and let's configure it firstly select your language i'm choosing the english and now you need to write your database name username user password database host and table prefix let's go database name this is my database name database tutorial i will do at this tutorial the password local host i'm deleting this one and table prefix will be developing it's fine okay let's submit run the installation and this is the site name and we're gonna make this site as test site username like test password will be yes we don't any uh, email is I'm going to this image and then this car is on first engine click here and install the wordpress here is our wordpress is coming login and then write the username for wordpress dashboard and password Click remember me and login. Here is our dashboard. And let's now is our site is going. And you see this is our site. It looks like this. It's empty. And this is the test site we see. So the hope you understand how can we install the WordPress. So let's summarize this video. First of all, choose a hosting and domain. Then go to your cPanel and connect your domain. Or you can work on a subdomain by creating it in your hosting. Then create a database in PHP my in my MySQL database. And then go to your domain, domain files, 
and then install WordPress and then configure the WordPress with your database. Hope you understand. If, if you have any question, uh, write in comment section. And if you like this video, make subscribe and share this video. Have a nice day. Thank you.